Hello everybody, Foxy the Elegance here, and today I'm going to show you how to install custom Windows themes on Windows 7. People do this on Windows 8 too, but I wouldn't recommend it because it gets really odd and things can go wrong. So I would not do this with Windows 8 unless you are in position to, just in case, reinstall your Windows. But this is Windows 7, and I haven't run into any problems with installing this on Windows 7. So first thing you need to do is you need to patch your Windows files. This is so that you can install custom themes and you're not just limited to area themes. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to this link. After you go to this link, you need to go down to Download and download Ultra UX Theme Patcher. Once you have this, then you can go to your downloads and you'll want to run it. It comes up with this. This will guide you through. You next, next, it, next. And I agree. And it'll set a, a system restore point up and it'll patch your files. Okay, so then once that's done, you hit next. And then you can hit finish when you're done. This is the first time doing it, then it might come up with a notification that you need to restart for it to take changes. Second thing is to, of course, get a theme that you want. So with this, I just recommend you just go to Google and type in Windows Custom Themes. You'll come up with these different types of pages. You can browse uh, DeviantArt. They'll have different types of uh, skins and stuff that people have made. I like to go to this page, which has a whole bunch of different types of themes on it. Okay, let's say we find this one, and we like this one, so we're going to download it. This theme was made by someone that posted on DeviantArt. Up here on the right, we can download the var that has the uh, file in it. Once that's finished, you'll get your var file. This you can open with 7-zip or you can open with WinZip, whatever you have. I suggest 7-zip, so I'll put that link in the description also. So this, we'll open this up and it'll give us a couple files. So I can make a folder to extract these into. Now that we've got these files, there's two different setups for these. Either one you have to run an exe that comes with it. Now with this particular one we have to do a manual installation. With one with an exe, some things run by an exe installer. So if we run the exe, when it loads it'll load up with like a menu like this and you can hit install and it'll install it. And then you'll want to right click, go to personalize, and then you would go down and you would find it right here. And then you click it and it applies it. Now the one we just downloaded is a little bit more complicated than that. This one, you have to go to computer, go to C, wherever your system drive is, and go into Windows and go to resources. Once you're here, you will see this folder called themes. This is where your themes will go. So what you want to do is you want to copy these files that we got downloaded and move them to themes. What we're going to do is we're just going to go to personalize and select it. And there we go. Now we have a new theme for our windows. So it's kind of like how we do with uh, Linux. It's highly customizable. Now we're not stuck with just plain old, you know, Windows 7 Aereo stuff. We have more versatility now. Whole lot more appealing than just Windows. <laughs> so that's how you automatically install or manually install themes on Windows 7. Hope this was helpful and hope you enjoyed it. Foxy the Elegance out.